Wife cheated on me one week before the wedding with her ex-boss, so I called off the wedding and moved on, despite her attempts to win me back. Hi, Somi, 32 male and my wife, 28 female have been together for 5 years. We got officially married, ROM last year August and planned on having two weddings this year on March and April. At the beginning of March I started noticing behaviors that she was glued to her phone every night and kept the phone face down. This was a red flag for me because we always practiced an open phone concept and never hid it from one another. During the first wedding in March at my hometown, I noticed she was getting more and more glued to her phone but I didn't say anything because I really did trust her. For the April wedding it was planned to happen on the 20th. The week before I noticed she was going out with her colleagues for drinks and coming home late without messaging me. Typically when she goes out, she always texts me and lets me know she's alright. But this time it was full radio silence. On Thursday in that same week, she came back at 3.45 am and never responded to any of my texts and calls. I only texted her twice to see if she's okay because I needed to sleep as I had a 7 am tennis session the next day. When she came back at 3.45 am I asked her what happened and is everything okay. She just said she's tired and went to bed. My alarm bells rang and I just had to check her phone. Lo and behold, she was having an affair with her ex-boss from Australia, a married man of three kids. I synced her phone to our iPad and kept reading all the messages as I needed more evidence before I confronted her. On Saturday she told me she needed some time alone and wanted to go out shopping, but she was going to meet him in his hotel room. I followed them and waited till they went to the room and confronted her. Of course I confronted her and she kept lying until I brought up all the evidence I collected from Thursday to Saturday. Keep in mind that our wedding is in one week. I called off the wedding and she went to stay with her family for a week. Now she's back and we are in therapy because I'm trying to see if I can give her a second chance. Every day is a struggle because of what she did and I don't know if I can ever trust her again, but I'm also afraid to lose her. I can see her putting in effort. She's planning dates, getting more physical with me, cooking for me more but honestly I don't know if this will last and if I can ever truly love her again. Appreciate any advice. TLDR, wife cheated one week before wedding with her ex-boss. We are doing therapy and I see effort from her end but I don't know if I can truly make this work and love her again. Update, I have decided to move on as things were simply not working out. And I've learned to have some self-respect for myself and walk out of this. It hurts, and I wouldn't wish this feeling upon my worst enemies, but I have to face it. I'm so thankful to have family and friends around me. I just want to thank everyone on the thread. You've helped me in more ways than you can imagine. Tomorrow I move to my own place, got a little cookbook and have locked in a gym regime with my friend. Looking forward to new beginnings. Story 2. Original post. 26 male with 22 female. Together for 2 years. Married 2 months. No kids. I don't want to get too much into our relationship. I want to keep this post as short and concise as possible. I went through my wife's phone, yes I invaded her privacy because she's been acting strange, and discovered she was texting her best friend about really inappropriate things. She told her best friend that for the past three months she's been flirting with our neighbor who lives across from us. He is twice her age, late 40s with a daughter the same age as my wife. I've even spoken to the man before. I want to tell his wife. He's married and for the past three months they've been chatting more and more her words not mine. She admitted to have a crush on him and seeing him often. Whether they slept together, I don't know. I only found out because on Wednesday, she fell asleep on the couch and I recovered her recently deleted texts between her and her best friend. I took screenshots and sent them to myself and forwarded them to a divorce attorney by Thursday night. Should I wait to see if they are having an affair? Or should I serve her the papers now? Or maybe I'm jumping the gun. Context. He has been flirting back with my wife. In the text messages she told her best friend how they met. That he approached her first and since then he winks at her asks her if she wants to come over when his wife isn't around and checks her out and holds strong eye contact. I have noticed him having strong eye contact with my wife in the past, but I thought nothing of it really. In the messages she also said he started it first. Our neighbor is a bouncer at a club. He may just like my wife's attention. Or vice versa. Update. Everyone is saying just talk to your wife. So I did. My wife got off at 3 p.m. today and she just got home an hour ago at 4. I was off today so I've been reading your comments. I decided to have a talk with her. When she got in, I told her I wasn't feeling well and wanted to talk. She asked if I was sick and what was wrong. I told her the truth, I invaded her privacy and went through her phone and saw that she told her best friend some things about our neighbor. She started laughing and she didn't deny a thing. I was surprised, but then again not because I printed off the texts and had her look at them. 
She told me that she hasn't been happy for a really long time in our relationship and she thought marriage could save it. As did I she told me that she's been sleeping with our neighbor for the past week actually. That they were chatting via text on one of those apps that deletes your messages and while his wife was on a business trip last week, she actually went over to his house and slept with him. She said the texts between her and her best friend were old, like a week ago old. She also asked me what I really expected. That our relationship is so horrible I can't even blame her for being unfaithful. She asked if I could really even blame her for cheating when she feels so unloved by me. I did lose my cool and we started screaming after that. It's now about 5 p.m. Her best friend came and picked her up. I had a few choice words for her best friend as well but I'll keep that to myself. I told her I'd have her served and to come get her things out of my house. She told me to go to hell and left. Thanks for all the advice. Final update. At around 7 p.m. or so, I was just sitting outside. This is all kind of depressing and I wanted to clear my head. I had bagged up all her crap and left it by the mailbox in front of the house. I know I was wrong for marrying someone just for the sake of fixing things. I thought it would bring us closer or maybe make things better. This post isn't about our relationship problems, not that they matter too much anymore. My wife hasn't reached out to me, I actually think she blocked me. I have her best friend's number so I asked her to come pick up my wife's things from outside. She never came to get them or replied so I put them on the porch. I also seen the man my wife slept with, leaving his house, about to get into his car. I assumed to head to work, since he is a bouncer and all. I said hey, can I talk to you about something for a minute? Man to man. He knew what was going on. Clearly, he's not stupid. His entire demeanor changed and so did his facial expression. He walked down his driveway to about the trunk of his car and said look man, I know what you want to talk about and I don't have anything to say to you. I don't want any part of what you got going on. Before I could say another word he walked to his car door and left. I will be confronting his wife when she gets back from her business trip in a few days, because this definitely isn't over yet. I'm not sure if I should confront his wife. His response was really, uh, aggressive, to say the least. It seems like if I did, I would have much bigger problems coming my way. On top of, the divorce. Should I even tell her? Story 3. We have been together for about 4 years and have been married for 11 months. Yesterday I found out that my wife was not at home and had sex with her internship supervisor and I see the person I see more flaws than good things for her to have felt attraction to. I took things calmly and immediately asked for a space for both of us because nobody really expected that. I at best thought it would have been a few messages or a date and that's it. I thought that some therapy or something in itself could help us in that case, but already in what she did I feel so betrayed that I feel that it cannot be fixed. Since we have been together we have made plans together for the future. We have shared all her college life together. I have supported her in her studies and during the courtship and marriage I helped her financially with her studies. With the things she needed and were in my reach, we lived new experiences. We traveled and in her family we shared being like one more. When we lived together we had problems to understand each other, but then we got better and our routine felt wonderful. Every day was fun and we were happy or at least that's how I saw it. I don't understand why she did it, and even after she did it she cried and knelt down that she was sorry but still she had done what she had done and I told her that we couldn't be together for these days while I was thinking. But the only thing I can think of is divorce. It should be noted that I was the first person to meet her family, the first person she took with her, the first person she traveled with together, and the first person to marry her. I was the first time of everything including having sex with her. My close friends reacted with surprise to that, and I think her family and mine would react that way too, because it doesn't make any sense what she did. Everyone saw that she was happy, she admired me and showed it with the whole family and always said something good about me, and everyone noticed the effort of everything she did for me. I think this is the biggest unfairness I feel right now, because I also gave my all and because I was trying to improve in every step and in every stumbling block I had. Update, I just found out that she has been having sex with this guy since the last month. And now, I'm worried that I may have a STD. She had unprotected love making with that guy. I will do some exams and tests, now I feel worse. Update, the worst feeling I've had so far. I had been married to her for 11 months and almost 4 years of relationship. In general we had a good life, and I went through many stages with her and supported her. But there came a time and tragedy struck, she cheated on me. Things were difficult, she made love with her own supervisor and his internship after it ended, and it was difficult, because in the end she was with me, and we had relations while she was with him, I have no idea why. In the end it happened twice, and she didn't measure the consequences and had unprotected sex with that person, and then with me. 
In the end when we confronted everything, she said that it was not totally her fault, that it was not justified either but that we had problems in bed and that she was looking for a way to feel something different to know if all men were the same. Her first time was with me and she was like that since then. We had problems, and it was really hard for me to do it. I had erectile dysfunction at times. I don't know if it was the stress or if I got tense. It didn't happen all the time. It only happened four or five times in our relationships and in the last three to four months. Then I had to last a while with protections because she could not take pills because of the side effects. And one month ago when she had to take them again, I began to suffer from premature ejaculation. I always suffered a little and was getting better but recently worsened. With protections is different, I can last longer. The problem started because we didn't have as much frequency as I expected, and I would end up falling into p graphy and jerking off, and my performance and desire would drop. I would try to quit, and then fall back in again. It was difficult, sometimes I wanted to try more, and she would change the schedules and things like that. The problem was escalating and things like that were happening and well stuff happens. Even so, I think I feel partly guilty, because I felt that I should have improved that and I should have tried more. But it was difficult whenever I asked her. There was discomfort and she felt that I didn't love her, and she got really upset when things didn't go well and she would just leave the room and we wouldn't talk again all day. And getting close didn't work. I think I felt humiliated every time I didn't do well, but I felt that it was just a phase of mine. I was just going through a bad time and I was lost in my life and I didn't have much motivation. Maybe, I'm not to blame, and she still should have helped me and all that. But still, being told that, it really lowers my morale a lot, I had to say it. I won't come back with her, but damn, it's really hard to think about all this. Update, in case anyone wants to know, but I decided to move with the divorce and separation. I just found that she saw this guy when I was sick in bed when we used to live together, between the two times that she cheated on me. The reason also didn't help I just wanted to know if other men were like you with those problems. She knew me for over four years, and we only had this problem only three months max. I tried to talk to her to be agreed both to sign the divorce and she throw me the guilt and didn't accept to sign because I didn't give her the opportunity to continue the relationship. She was just telling me that this guy manipulated her and finding little things to blame me and a few days later Later she called me with an arrogant tone saying that she won't continue with me because I was not worth with all the problems that I treat as normal, and blame me that maybe I cheated on her and she never discovered it, never happened. Everyone knows this, because I tried to move apart every girl that tried to talk me, was not really healthy but I did it because I was afraid of her thinking something bad from me back then. There's no turning back I guess, I never thought that this was going to end so difficult and hard. Update, the title may sound a little controversial, but I wanted to relate my recent experience of my separation and being cheated on, and I feel it was the best thing that could have happened to me. I feel sad deep down because I had many dreams for the future with her, but I also feel relieved that I didn't do it. I'm 26 male and she was 24 female. My marriage was quite short, 11 months, and I was with her for 4 years. One day I found out that she was cheating me, and our separation happened, and the divorce is in progress right now. The best part, which I never expected, happened later. The cheating happened because I had sensual problems for about 3 months, premature ejac. In some cases in ed that only happened 3 or 4 times, but I really felt that this was just temporal, because I was not always like this. I was pretty close mind with my parents, and really kept a lot to myself, or just to friends. One of my biggest fears was that my father would pass away, and I would never have given him a grandchild. Because I am an only child on his side, I have other siblings on my mother's side and she already has a grandchild. After this happened, I decided to be honest with him and tell him how I felt because it was really hard to do right now. He is 71 years old, and for the first time I felt that I no longer had a weight on my shoulders when he said you know. Don't worry, with what you are doing in your life I am very happy with you. Who knows I may live many more years. But really deep down I don't want you to have a child with anyone, I want you to have it with someone you consider good. I tried to be honest about my sensual problems with him, and the first thing he did was to laugh with happiness and tell me you know, I suffered from that too, and several people I know too, it's just temporary, don't worry, you would have told me a long time ago and I would have helped you. After that, I decided to fix my friendships, since I pushed them away quite a bit during my marriage, especially the female ones. I was afraid that I would get into some situation that would upset my ex-wife and what I was really doing was pushing them away. When I started to meet with friends from university after the separation, I felt that I should really value people more and not just my marriage. Something that really left me marked was that one of my friends said you know. The other time you told me to go out and drink with the whole group. I told them today to come. 
because you do not usually ask for that kind of thing and I figured that you needed it. Also, I was happy, because all my friends and family came to my house after this happened. I feel that I was worth for people. Even some of my friends bring me food because they know that I was not eating well. I lost 11 pounds since this happened last month and I was living alone, and this really helped me. I started to notice how other people are, other women, although I was not and am not ready to go out in a relationship, and I saw things that I normalized in her. One day while sharing with a friend I noticed something that really made an impression on me, and that is that she actually listened to what I said and put the phone down, even though she worked in social media, and was on the phone most of the day. This surprised me because my ex-wife never listened to me when I told her something and she was always on the phone. I had to repeat things three or four times, and she always told me wait a minute, and she didn't even work. She was always like that from the beginning. Sometimes she excused that it was work. But I always thought it was normal because of the addiction there is today with social network. Maybe there's more things that I can look different in other girls. And maybe I can enjoy more the process and not just to look only in the results. I always felt bad with my friends because she never shared with me when I went out with them. But I always shared with her friends and family, while theirs wife or partner did sometimes. The same thing happened in my family. My parents felt bad because she didn't visit or share with them. And one day when my mom decided to invite her and her family out to eat, she told her a lie that same day because we were fighting at the time and criticized my mom for feeling bad about it saying that she should grow up and accept that there are times when you can't go to things. I didn't insist more when that happened because I thought that not all families get along. And I thought I would respect that and not insist. When this happened, I felt a relief that I didn't have to deal with it, that I didn't have to try harder to make her look good or make excuses or lies to my friends or family because she didn't want to share with me. And after a while I felt that it was a bad thing and that I was lucky to have ended things this way. I didn't have to deal with her anymore or have her say horrible things to me and try to fix things so it wouldn't keep happening. I felt like I could start a new page and have new boundaries. I also found that after this I feel that I could be more observant with girls and not just choose them because I like them, but do it now because it is right for me as well. I always thought that girls were not perfect and it was okay to accept bad things because everyone had. But, I think now it is necessary to choose careful and not being afraid of starting again with new boundaries that you feel comfortable. This is my third breakup, and this is my longest relationship and first marriage, and I don't really feel sad like in the previous ones, because really in the deep, I feel that I won more things during this process than losing. And this is the first time in my life that I feel positive. I feel that maybe one day I can know a girl that can fit with who I am, and I can fit her with what she is really in the deep. Edit. I also had to add, that still, I had to deal with bad moments and sadness because I lost her and I lost my dreams with her. And sometimes I even feel that I may not be worth to other girls. But I think it's normal. Once I regain my confidence I feel positive that I can manage it. I really feel that even with my problems and flaws I can be a good husband in the future. And I also believe I can marry again in the future with the right girl. She may not be the first marriage love, but I can be a long-lasting partner. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you really like our videos, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.